Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Look at these temperatures. Very, very low temperatures. Cold conditions again today. Another uncomfortably cold start to the day. However, we're going to start to see some changes throughout the day today, throughout the day tomorrow, and it starts with temperatures. You know, we're in a low spot now with the temperatures, but we still have winds, you know, five to 10 miles an hour. And it, just like the last couple of mornings, doesn't really take a lot of wind to create a wind chill situation that's just not that comfortable. It feels like negative 10 in Terre Haute. Feels like eight below Vincennes, negative 12, Paris, 13, Charleston, Mattoon area. But in many areas, the wind chill values are, are a lot closer to the, the thermometer temperature in a way they really haven't been the last couple of days. You know, we've been as low as negative 15 some of these mornings, negative 20 uh, to start the day on Monday. So uh, these last couple of mornings, it's been uncomfortably cold, dangerously cold if you're out there for a while, but the wind chill values are slowly rising each morning. So it's a real slow warm up, but it is happening and you can see our future cast showing mostly sunny conditions. So while you're still probably not going to want to be outside for an extended period of time before lunch uh, over the course of the afternoon, the sunlight will drive temperatures a little bit higher as well. So we're going to be in the upper 20s near 30 by the end of the day. You can see this is 5 p.m. Little to no cloud activity on the future cast. That means mostly sunny conditions, dry conditions. However, the winds are going to gain strength today. So the temperatures are going to be higher, but you're going to have wind gusts potentially up to 30 miles an hour. It's going to be very breezy. So that will create a wind chill situation again through most of the first half of the day into the early afternoon. So be careful. It's still probably not going to be that comfortable, but the temperature is a little bit higher. Uh, it definitely won't hurt. And you can see this is around 11 p.m. tonight. Cloud cover starts to move in. We have these cloudy conditions that will take over throughout the overnight and early morning tomorrow. Now we do have a possibility of snow flurries most of the day tomorrow. So if you're looking to avoid those, today's going to be better for that. It's going to be dry, but it's still again not that comfortable. And the cloud cover again is going to be with us most of the time. Outside of breaks in these clouds where maybe some sunlight gets through there off and on in the middle part of the day. Uh, as the day goes on again, the chance for snow increases. Maybe some uh, light snow flurries too weak to even show up on the future cast. Yeah, this is around five. But look what happens over the course of the night. This is 5 through 11 p.m. Times at the top here. Snow showers are going to start to move in ahead of midnight. And this is going to continue through early Friday morning, allowing for additional snow accumulation on top of what's already on the ground. So be careful Friday morning. Plan ahead for this now. It might be a little tricky to drive, just like it's been the last couple of mornings. Just plan around more snowfall. We're in the upper 20s today. Again, wind chill in a very low spot. Look at our lows tonight. Again, another sign of change here. Our temperatures have been either below zero or right there along the line, uh, the zero line. There you can see temperatures around 20 tonight, so it's not going to get anywhere near as cold. So wind chill won't be as much of a problem throughout the day tomorrow. However, we, are, we do have the chance for snow showers and temperatures are getting around 30. It's not too bad. Our seven day forecast shows after snow showers pass through early Friday. Look at these temperatures upper teens near zero dangerously cold again to start the weekend. You might be unfortunately getting used to it at this point, but then look temperatures lower 40s by Tuesday, a lot warmer.